welcome to the beautiful Raja Ampat, located in West Papua, Indonesia. We are here on behalf of Coral Live, working with Constantine at his home state, Palau Dayan. Our goal is to restore and protect some of the natural ecosystems here, centering on coral restoration, mangrove planting and active shoreline protection. First, we are meeting with Constantine to discuss the plan. But this one is, uh, I didn't say before, it's a long one. They're quite healthy. Yeah. 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 So for, for our flesh in the fillet, we use... Uh... <laughs> the reef in front of the homestay has a tragic past. What used to be a thriving coral community attracting divers from all around the world has been laid to waste by illegal dynamite fishing and the ongoing effects of climate change. To counter this, we have chosen to build four coral rope nurseries with a total capacity for over 2,000 coral fragments that will be grown and outplanted to the struggling reef. With these restoration efforts, combined with the presence of the homestay, we hope to turn years of degradation around. We're building the first prototype of the nursery on land just to test if it works and um, to show how it will work underwater to Constantinos. I think it's easier having a practical illustration rather than talking theory all the time. So we're just installing it. Yay. Yay! <laughs> no, it's quite hard. We're just um, testing our lengths of rope to see if uh, when we fill it with coral how long it is so we can standardize what we're putting on each frame. And then uh, I think after this we'll go and look for some coral on the reef to uh, uses our donor coral. So we're going to snorkel around looking for corals of opportunity to put on our frames. Mm. And a mosquito. What happened? I got stung by the wasp. <laughs> Depending on the coral, this one is branching so it's really easy. You just slide it back. Here's gap on the rope because this is where we'll tie on. And then the goal is in the middle of the rope to tie 26 coral. Yeah. So roughly this far apart. Just counting the rope because we need to make nine more lines this afternoon of uh, other Acropora species. So yesterday we put in I think ten lines and today we're just filling up the other half of the nursery uh, with a different species but we need to cross the other side of the channel to look for more coral because this reef doesn't have that much coral and we don't want to take too much and we can't really choose the best coral for the nursery so we'll cross the other side and look for their healthiest, most shallow coral, colourful as well, and then we can use that for the donation to the nursery.
With the progress on the coral nurseries going well, it's time to check in on our shoreline protection strategy. This involves a series of breakwaters to protect recently planted mangroves in front of the homestay. Okay, so good morning. I am Constantin, and so my uncle is uh, Frederick, um, my cousin Isaac. Yeah, this morning we start from work uh, breakwater because we, we have big problem with the erosion here. So yeah, I want to protect our beach with uh, this method. I think it's work because we already try many times with the wood uh, wood fence and uh, mangrove, but it's not it's not work. So now we try with the this, this river, it's the breakwater, and then we planting mangrove. I think yeah, I hope it's it's work. Yes, uh, I think it's uh, two or three. Yeah, one month ago is a big storm. I think two or three days, and all is uh, it's very bad that we cannot go out, and then all the mangrove is is gone. So, yeah, basically this is a very common <clears throat> and very cheap way to farm corals. The coral fragments that we take will just go in between the line. So you just open the, the twine and then you make a hole and then you just take your coral fragment and then try and find a natural way to hook it into the line like that and then just tighten again. <laughs> so this is, um, I think, a piece of gum tree. It's a hardwood, uh, which Uncle, the MVP, he made for us. Uh, this, for some reason, the rope that we got is so hard. And actually, it was so hard that we had to order new ones. And even this new blue one is so hard. Yeah, so <clears throat> as you can see, it makes our work a little bit easier because we can uh, untwist it and then just direct the fragment straight into the, the opening in the rope. Uh, I think it's a good thing uh, that we help nature a little. Uh, we damaged a lot and this is a good way to uh, try to improve things around here. Uh, nice to learn a new skill, be out on the water. Yeah, hope to see uh, the reef grow big, uh, getting bigger here again uh, one day if I return. Yeah, now it's yes, good. Now it's already three days. So we work and um, yeah, everything's good. And the weather is good too. And then, yeah, now it's, yeah, I think now it's already one week on. Out of the two, two coral nursery, this is already finished. Uh, now we start again for a new one. And now it's, yeah, I, I hope it's, uh, it's good for future. So we have, because, yeah, you know, we have uh, some problem with the, our, our reef here. It's like a mini rubber place, so now it's good for me to make a coral nursery for, yeah, good, good uh, nature here. And now I hope one day it's grow up and then, yeah, many fish come and um, everything comes to here. Yeah, it's interesting. Although work on the coral nurseries is almost complete, 
Our progress on the breakwater has had some issues, causing delays. However, the community has rushed in at the last second to give a helping hand. We even have a few extra paws on site. Yeah, I think only three of us, four days we look for good uh, welding stick and switching wrestle and now we, uh, we get from the company, they help us to fix it. So, yeah, I think tomorrow we can try to put it in the water. Oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> They've just finished <clears throat> the first breakwater. Now we have the right generator and the right rods, so maybe we can make a few. So we'll try to get one of them in the water tomorrow behind the mangroves. And then the last uh, few days we're going to spend just planting as much mangroves as possible. Uh, we'll head into the mangrove around the corner near the pearl farm to look for proper fuels. And uh, if we have time, try and plant some on land as well. So yeah, it's going well. Tired, we had a day off today, just resting. Uh, recovering from all our jellyfish things. There's so many jellyfish right now in the water. Um, and yeah, project's going very well. Almost there. Yay! These are what we're looking for. These are uh, mangrove propagules. So these are the saplings of the mangrove tree, which is, we're in a mangrove just now. And uh, mangroves are on the border between terrestrial and marine environments. But one of their main functions that they do is actually when they're planted near the shore, they will stabilize all the sediment. So right now back at uh, Palau Dayan homestay, a lot of the sand is getting washed away by the ocean. So we're hoping to plant these mangroves behind the breakwater that we put in yesterday and then the breakwater will protect these while they grow up and then once they're grown up they will themselves be the, the protection for the shoreline. So that's us come to an end of our time here at Diane Homestay in Raja Ampit. Um, we've managed to set up four coral nurseries, each with around 500 corals on them. And now we've just implemented our first uh, breakwater barrier behind me, uh, which has a mangrove planted behind it as well. So these are the first of a series of multiple breakwaters that we will align the coast with. 
These will act as barriers against uh, storms and waves to protect the mangroves while they grow. And after the mangroves have grown higher above the water, we will remove the breakwater cages and allow the mangroves to act as a natural layer of protection. And combined with the coral that we will plant in the coming years from our nurseries, uh, a healthy coral reef plus a mangrove will be very good shoreline protection and a very diverse habitat for this beautiful place in Rajat Mukit.